What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Top 10 Beyond the Screen. I am your host Joss. Before we jump into today's video, I am super excited to announce that Universal Pictures Home Entertainment has paired up with Beyond the Screen to give fans an exclusive giveaway of the Fighting With My Family Blu-ray and DVD release. The movie rocks because it was produced by the one and only Dwayne Johnson. Get it? And he also stars in it as well. Fighting with My Family is now available on digital and on Blu ray, DVD, and on demand on May 14th, which is today. To enter this contest, all you need to do is head over to our Instagram page at top 10 beyond the screen, follow us, and then like the contest picture and tag two friends who you would want to watch this movie with. Once we have our three lucky winners, we will contact you with all the details on how to claim your prize. Huge thanks to Universal for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you guys watch our videos to keep an eye out for future contests and good luck to everyone. As for today's video, we all have our favorite TV shows and movies, right? The ones we spend most of our time binge watching? Well, sometimes the drama behind the scenes is actually more exciting than the storylines we watch on the screen. The actors on today's list were fired for a variety of different reasons, so let's take a closer look at the reasons why. Today's list is the top 10 actors who were fired on set. Let's get started. Off our list at number 10 is Anne Hathaway. She's known for a variety of her successful movies, but one of them she wasn't known for because she was fired and replaced. You might remember the movie Knocked Up, which came out in 2007 and starred Seth Rogen and Katherine Heigl. Well, turns out Hathaway was the first one to be hired for the role of Allison in the movie. Not long into filming, Anne became aware of the details of a childbirth scene that was needed to be filmed. She told the director and producers that she wasn't comfortable with the graphic scene and that she thought the depiction of it was disgusting. She got into an argument with the director because she wasn't willing to do it, so she was fired and later replaced with Katherine Heigl, who clearly had no issue filming the disgusting scene. At number 9 we have Ryan Gosling. Hollywood's heartthrob was also dismissed from a set, but not because of an argument. It's no surprise that the actor is praised for his ripped abs and chiseled face, but when he changed his look for a role, it backfired on him. Gosling was hired to play a key role in the movie The Lovely Bones, but later was fired from set. When he first got hired, he weighed about 150 pounds, carrying around his biceps and his six pack of abs. But Gosling thought that he should be heavier to take on the dad role. He gained 60 pounds and started to grow out his beard. However, while on set, the director Peter Jackson had a very different vision for the part, so he let Gosling go and replaced him with Mark Wahlberg. You would think the director and actor would communicate a little bit better when it comes to the appearance of the character, but apparently not in this case. Not only did Ryan lose the part, but he also packed on the weight for no reason. Taking over the number 8 spot is Natalie Portman. She was first cast to take on the role of Juliet in the 1996 Romeo and Juliet movie. She was supposed to star alongside Leonardo DiCaprio who was playing Romeo. But after filming began, the filmmakers realized that her young complexion made her look like she was a little girl next to Leo. Which technically she was because Leo was 21 years old at the time and she was only 14 years old. Natalie admitted herself in later interviews that the scenes looked inappropriate and screamed child molestation. She was let go from set one day in a civil manner and was later replaced by Claire Danes. In at number 7 is Leah Remini, a well known actress for her show The King of Queens and her recent movie with JLo Second Act. She's also known for being one of the hosts on The Talk. The hosts seem to come and go on the talk show as headlines have flooded with various people being fired and replaced. Well, Leah is one of the many who was fired from the job in 2012. Apparently, Sharon Osbourne has power over the other hosts and also producers. The two of them often butt heads and had disagreements while on set with each other. Leah was unexpectedly fired from set one day, which made headlines because the feud went to Twitter. Sharon tweeted out that she had nothing to do with the actress getting fired. In 2015, Leah told Closer that Sharon thought her and her co host Holly Robinson Pete were ghetto. Coincidentally, Holly was also fired not long after Leah was. In the number six spot is Selma Blair, known for her continuous role on the TV show Anger Management, where she co starred with Charlie Sheen. The actress played Dr. Kate Wales, Charlie's therapist and friend, for 33 episodes over two different seasons. The two of them never got close, and she claims he is the reason she was eventually fired from the show. She complained to show management that he, and I quote, was a menace to work with. Deadline Hollywood 
reported that Sheen admitted to firing her through a text which she labeled her as a C word. After she complained to the show management, she quickly realized her dismissal was in Sheen's control. His family company, Sheen Productions, helps make the show, so they took her complaints as talking behind the actor's back and criticizing his work. She went on to file a lawsuit against the production company, demanding that they owe her $1.2 million that she would have made on the show if she would have stayed. Halfway through the list at number 5 is Thomas Gibson, known for many of his roles but mainly for playing Aaron Hotchner in CBS series Criminal Minds. The actor had a huge reputation built from being on the show for so many seasons but ruined it all by one mistake. The actor was fired from set after having an altercation on set with the executive producer Virgil Williams. According to TMZ, Gibson's termination was a long time coming. He was first ordered to attend anger management classes after he punched an assistant director in the face back in 2010. Sources say Gibson was, and I quote, aggressive and verbally abusive for years on the set of Criminal Minds. Six years later, in 2016, he lashed out and kicked Williams after a heated argument over the script. They sent him home immediately and originally just for a two week suspension. But the producers and network decided it was best to terminate him, so they did. In at number four, we have Columbus Short, an actor who had made it by starring on the hit TV show Scandal. He played Harrison Wright on the series from 2012 to 2014, but was let go because of his drug addiction and trouble with the law. He was arrested for felony battery after a brawl took place at a bar and also got arrested for a domestic violence incident involving his wife. Not only did the actor have legal issues, he also had troubles quitting his cocaine addiction. When it came to be too much, the show decided to let him go on set one day and killed his character off the show. Back in 2014, Short opened up about his addiction during an interview with Access Hollywood Live. He admitted, I quote, I'll be candid, I was struggling with drugs. I had a lot on my plate and you know I was using unhealthy ways to kind of self-medicate and deal with a lot of heavy duty stuff in my life. When they asked him what types of drugs he was abusing, his response was, I was doing cocaine and drinking a lot. He openly apologized to everyone involved with the show and also to all of his fans. Alright guys, at number 3 we have Nicolette Sheridan, known as one of the divas on Desperate Housewives. Although they were all considered to be divas, Nicolette might have been the biggest drama queen of them all. Reports say she constantly clashed with the show creator Mark Cherry, which led to her being dismissed from the show unexpectedly one day. Her character was killed off in April 2009 during one of the episodes and Nicolette filed a lawsuit against Cherry and Touchstone Television for wrongful termination. She began to air out a bunch of dirty laundry, making claims that Cherry hit her in the head and that ABC fired her in retaliation for reporting the assault. Cherry admitted to touching her but said it was only a demonstration of how to enact a comedic moment during a scene. The case went to trial and the director stated that her character's death had been in the show's plan for months. He went on to say that her termination was because of differences and her unprofessional behavior. The trial ended with a mistrial and the appeals were rejected. The actress was left out of a job and with no compensation. Here at number 2 we have Charlie Sheen. You can't even act like you are surprised to see him on this list. We all heard about how the actor went wild back in 2011, making jokes that it was tiger blood racing through his veins, which we later found out that it was cocaine. The actor began feuding with the creator of the TV show Two and a Half Men, Chuck Lorre. Sheen took it to social media and began attacking him through tweets and nasty interviews by calling him a maggot and other derogatory terms. Sheen said in an interview that he was showing up to work the following Monday no matter what. Well, that didn't last long, because Lori immediately fired the actor and stopped production for the remainder of the season. The ninth season continued on without him, with Ashton Kutcher taking the lead instead. Taking our number one spot is Mama June, known as the mom on TLC's show Here Comes Honey Boo Boo. Let me just start off by saying, although she stars on her own TV show, she is not considered a talented actor in my opinion. It still shocks me that somehow she even got her own show in the first place. But in October 2014, news broke that she was dating a 53 year old registered sex offender who allegedly molested her daughter. Her oldest daughter came forward as a victim of the molestation, but Mama June refused to give up her boyfriend, Mark McDaniel. TLC stepped up and let her go on a day of scheduled filming and told her they would be canceling the entire show. She went on to start a weight loss journey, which landed her another show on WeTV called Mama June From Not to Hot. The show documented her life for three seasons, which showed her weight loss surgery and 300 pound weight 
weight loss. However, on March 13th of this year, she was arrested at a gas station in Alabama for drug possession. There are no further updates yet, but she may be fired from her second show. Well, there you have it, guys. There's our list of actors who got fired on set. Thank God I don't have a story like this to tell myself. Let me know what you think down in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. For now, let's check out some comments from my last video. Neo says, Jocelyn, future actor in a Marvel movie, what role would you like? What character would you like to be or have a chance to be cast as? Okay, that would be a dream come true. So literally, I would probably be anything. But if I could pick, it'd probably be Captain Marvel. That'd be pretty sweet. Clay Tallman says, love these videos, brings a smile to me on my birthday. Happy birthday! Although I am probably very late, so at this point, happy belated birthday. Avengers Blaze says, am I really hearing you correctly when you said Jamie Foxx's lawyer said that a penis slap to the head is not considered sexual assault in Nevada? Really? Really? Dude? I know, this is the messed up world that we live in. Tiff Prendergast says, Scientology sucks. Well, I agree, but I guess it depends who you ask. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Before I leave, I just want to give a massive shout out to Universal Pictures Home Entertainment for sponsoring this video and giving fans the chance to win the Fighting With My Family Blu-ray DVD. Make sure you guys head over to our Instagram and enter into the contest. It is linked down in the description below. Good luck to all my movie lovers. I'm your host, Joss, and I'll see you next time. Oh, 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 oh,